So stand with 3dpt.club. Um, when I've been telling people I've been doing 3D printing, um, people are either really happy about it, or they're like, oh, are you printing with junk? And I've actually seen the word tchotchke being used a lot. And I had to look it up because I wasn't familiar with it, but it turns out it's a Yiddish word for either junk or kind of small knickknacks. So, while you can print uh, knickknacks and things like this, this is a folding block I sell online, as well as all these chains, and this is a gyro fidget. This is actually in Bronzeville. Small that's usable. So that's actually what I'm coming to, Doc, there. Um, so apart from little things like this, um, you can actually print a lot of things for the kitchen. So when we talk about 3D printing for a home, this is a knife lock I printed for my dad. Cool thing, this is a sink strainer. So this one I actually printed and made it, it was a customizable file. And it ended up a couple millimeters too big, so I reprinted a smaller one that fits in the sink now. And so it's been doing a good job as a sink strainer. We just remodeled the kitchen here, and so instead of going to a hardware store to buy light switch plates, you can actually customize a file for these. So this and another one over here, these are both 3D printed. And for other things for the kitchen, um, if you have someone with arthritis or a gripping problem, you can make an adaptive device called a Bauer spoon. And all you do is you just take your normal silverware and uh, rubber band it on. And this way you could use it either, it's a bigger grip, or you put your hand through it, and it's easier to grip this way. Same thing with these spoons. These are all different things I've test printed, so these are left and right handed. Again, if you like to go grocery shopping a lot, um, this is a handle, so you can put it through the bag. Um, chain, so this way, I've used it to um, hold some things in place in the kitchen, hold back some curtains, cookie cutter. So yeah, it's as small as my uh, bill plate gets. Uh, and here's an autism symbol cookie cutter. And my dad likes to travel, so you could actually print your own luggage tags as well. And this way, this is more durable than the plastic than the paper ones you get at the airport, and it's nice and orange. So if you're so it prints and it sticks out like a sore thumb. But 3D printing can be used in the home, and that's actually one of the big things is, you know, why go to a store and spend 20 bucks for something that was made in China, and then had to get shipped over and everything when you can make it yourself. And in terms of cost, this was probably about two dollars worth of plastic to print compared to, you know, 20 bucks at the grocery store or little corner store. Um, the other thing you could use it for, um, if you need something unique at home, like this is a switch that goes to our uh, TV and computer. And so we have to uh, basically cover this up to make sure it doesn't get um, turned off. Um, so there's a switch like this. You could also make this in like orange, give it to your friends who's an electrician, and it's an emergency, emergency uh, tag out switch. So, you know, it's not just tchotchkes, it's, you know, the little things and big things as well. And these actually aren't quite as useless as you think. I'm actually doing this for people with autism. So, or ADHD. So if you have those, you could actually use a, it's called a fidget. Put it in your hand and it's something to keep your hands occupied. And if you get really nervous, you could just, you know, spin around, do anything you want. Um, another thing actually, one of the first projects I did with 3D printing, this is a um, wrought iron deck chair that I inherited from my grandma. But all the rubber pads that were on it had worn off. And there's no way you're going to find a replacement for those. So I actually went online, found a file I could customize, and then I printed up new pads in plastic. And then that way, I'll just glue them onto the bottom of these later on. 
But instead of, again, chewing up our deck and doing that, um, you can make things like that. Again, this is far more customizable, so if you want it in like green or orange or any other color in Magic Kitchen, you could, you know, spend 10 bucks going to the hardware store to get a new piece. Or this is probably about a buck fifty worth of plastic to print up. So, yeah, people who say it's just tchotchke, I'll admit there's stuff like um, this is a sample that um, is 3D printed in NinjaFlex that um, another printer gave me. So yeah, there's like tons of little things on all the file sharing sites, but there's also practical things. And so you could always do that. Um, so in the future, like 3D printing, because instead of, again, going to the dollar store and buying a piece of junk made in China, you know, you can make it in home. It'll suit w what you want it to, and it's still cheaper. Because when you 3D print, you're pr printing in, you know, nickels and pennies worth of plastic instead of, you know, buying something that was mass produced. This is actually in Bronzeville. So you could print in different metals or composites. So this is Bronzeville. It's about 80% bronze. And I actually have some Bronzeville still downstairs. So this way, 3D printing could be used in the home. Um, one of the criticisms of it is that it's kind of useless. But I disagree because you have things that you need to make and instead of going to China or going to the dollar store hoping it's, you find it you could actually make it find it online and make it at home also do this as a business so this is a item I, I'm printing for a client on 3D hubs it's going to end up being a uh, spool holder for I guess for his uh, tooling company. So this is something you probably can't find anywhere else. I don't know if they design it or not. But you can put all your spools of wire in this, so whether it's for soldering or expensive wire or anything like that, and keep it all contained. So it has a lid that I print separately. And for this one, this is being printed in uh, 2.85 uh, Color Fab XT. And unfortunately, this is going to be a long print. It's set up in about 10 hours. But you can see this prints it all in one piece. If you made this on injection molding, you would have to do it in two pieces. And we've all seen like the cheap uh, toolboxes where they use the soda bottle plastic to make the insert. This is one solid piece and it's all printed together so it's not going to come loose or shake apart. Um, for the settings on this I'm doing uh, 250 degrees which is again on the high range for, PLA, for uh, color fab but it still works and bed temperature is 80 degrees. Uh, another reason this is taking so long in particular is because the client ordered it at uh, 2 tenths of a millimeter so it's a finer resolution so it's just going to take long for each layer. But I am getting paid to do this. So, you know, another thing you can do with 3D printing is lease out, rent out time on yours and do things with 3D hubs and do orders like that. And if you watched last cast, I uh, made two of these extruder arms and the official term for them is Greg, App, Greg Wade uh, extruder or yeah extruder bearing blocks so you put the bearing inside of them and it's this bearing part here so I ended up just printing two of them because the first one you notice it's a little green I forgot to push the head on it so it comes across as a little bit green, if you can see it in the right light compared to this one. But I had the file open, so I just decided to print two of these. So the other nice thing about 3D printing 
is you can maintain these machines. So you can print spare parts, have them ready beforehand, and that way when they break down, instead of having to, you know, toss it because it's not working, you could set, you could just, you know, unscrew this uh, hex, this screw here, and replace that part. Which itself is better because instead of, you know, sending it back to the factory like you have to do with MakerBot, if you get an open source printer like uh, Lesbot,